everyone, it's Laura. Today I thought I would use up some of these scraps that I have. And I thought maybe I would use these cute little dies that I've got to use up some of my scraps. So these dies are kind of layered, stacked dies. Uh, they are from Sizzix. They came with my Big Shots, so there's no like code or anything like that in order to find them. I just do know that they are Sizzix. This is what they look like when they're all put together. Aren't those cute? So I thought I would use these dies and some of these scraps that I have here. Um, these pattern papers are from Stampin' Up, I believe. They're just leftover scraps. Um, I think the paper is called Winter Frost. I'll have a... I'll have it listed down below, but I think that's what it's called. But these are just kind of leftover pieces. Aren't they pretty? And some scraps that kind of coordinate and some white. So I thought I would use these scraps up so that they're not just hanging out with me. And use them all up by making some of these little labels. So I'm going to go cut these guys out. I will be right back. Okay, here are all the little pieces. I can get them out here. I think that goes with that. Oh. Wow, I'm like totally confusing myself here. That goes with that. That goes with that. That goes with that. <laughs> And that goes with that, and that goes with that. Woo! That was a little confusing. Okay, so here are all of my pieces. Uh, let's see, do I want it that way? Yeah, I think I want it that way. So, cut out all the little pieces. And now, I think I want to edge them. Because when you lay them on there, they kind of drown in. Don't you think? So, I think I'm going to edge them. So, let's see... What do I have here? Okay, I have some Simon Says Stamp Hybrid Ink. This one is Link Sh Lake Shores. I know it's kind of messed up. Pretty sure that's what it's called, Lake Shores. So I'm going to go ahead and ink these all up. Um, let's see. Here's my little tool thing. I had the pad in the bottom here. So, let's get to inking. If I can pick them up. Oh yeah, that's cute. It's going to show up really well. I was a little afraid that it might not show up because this color of ink is actually very close to the color of the paper. But it's showing up just fine. Not so well on here, but that's okay. It'll still give it enough definition to where it kind of like pops a little bit on the dark paper or the darker paper. If that makes any sense. You'll see when we put it all together. So it's got to give it a little more definition so that it kind of stands out. On top of the layers. Kind of hard to see on this pattern, huh?
stands out a little bit more on this one. Those sides have been inked, and the top needs to get on there. There we go. Okay, so normally what I would do is I would go ahead and stamp these, but I don't have any stamps close by. So normally I would, you know, put a stamp on there, but I'm sorry everyone, I am nowhere near the supplies that I need to do that. So. I'm just going to go ahead and leave them blank, and when I decide to use them in something, then I'll put in a sentiment or something on here. So, for now, they're just going to stay blank. But normally, I would use, at this point, I would put in my stamp book, like, hello, or Merry Christmas, or whatever. Anyway, so now let's start putting these guys together. So, I think I'm going to use wet glue I usually like to use tape on things like this but these are smaller pieces so it get a little tricky so I'm gonna use my art glitter glue old bottle looks horrible I just refill it I'll probably get a new bottle though here pretty soon it's getting kind of ewy let me get the top out make sure it's not all goopy so, start with this one. Get it closer to me so I can better see. Yeah, I need a new bottle. This one's getting kind of hard to work with here. It's getting hard to get the glue out. I need to clean the top of this, the little stem thingy. Alright. If you heard that, that is thunder. We have a storm coming in. Alright. So there's that one. So there's that. Go ahead and do the back of this. pretty what do you think I like that that's pretty I'm gonna put a block on that to help it dry flat there we go let's go for this one There's that one. These are 
turning out really cute, don't you think? And let's go for the last one. And there's that one. And that is very cute. So we got this one's our first one. I can put the sentiment in there. I don't know, maybe some little jewels. Some tiny little jewels or something. I don't have a use for these yet. I'm not making them for a specific project or anything. So I just want I didn't want to have all the scraps laying around. So Thought I would use them up real quick. So I'll put these in my stash of labels and you know when I come around to actually using them then I'll decorate them up and decide you know what bling or whatever goes on them. But they're pretty cute. What do you think? That one and that one and that one. All right, so we used our dies to use our scraps. I kind of like them. Pretty cute, pretty cute, pretty cute. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any comments or any thoughts or anything, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Or you can come to my Facebook page at Scrambled Crafty Brain and come say hi there. I'd love to talk with you. Uh, got some exciting stuff coming up very, very soon. So as soon as we get everything all finalized, I will let you guys know. All right. You guys have a spectacular day. Bye.